Hi everyone, Amy Conley here with United Way of Door County. Today I have a special guest with me. Bibbs, you want to introduce yourself? Yes. Hi everyone. I'm Bibbs Maloney. I am the mental health navigator for the Stride program. Wonderful. So the mental health navigator is a position funded by a grant that we get from the Department of Public Instruction. So the DPI and it is specifically so bibs can be in the schools um, because that is really important to the state um, to make sure that we have someone in our school districts helping folks with their mental wellness um, so that students teachers you know she gets to mix with everybody which is kind of exciting mm -hmm. so just a quick reminder because maybe people don't know what is stride Stride is a program of the United Way of Door County, um, but it's a collaborative with local mental health providers and the Door County schools. So the I, I would say the biggest focus of Stride is to provide one on one quality in school counseling um, to to students in the five local Door County public schools. Okay, great. And so we have those local mental health providers in the schools meeting with the students one on one. And then you're in the schools too. Yes. So you get to go to all of our mainland school districts. And what is that kind of like? Like, what's a day like for you? Yes. Um, well, I started in the schools this last January. Um, and at first it was intimidating to go to a new school each day. Um, but by the end, I mean, I was just so excited. To, every day was a new, it's a new environment in each school. It's a, it's a new community. So it was always something different to look forward to. Um, but it, my day to day looked a little different depending on the needs expressed by the schools. So um, some schools I was there all day if they wanted me there. Um, and what I did varied. I mean, there was some one on one almost tutoring, but more just listening time with kids who were in classes that needed a little extra help. Um, sometimes I was out at recess playing games. Um, some schools, just I was there for half a day, sometimes a whole day. So it, it looked a little different depending on what the schools um, asked of me or needed of me. And you got to kind of interact with all ages of students, right? Yes, yes, um, definitely. Uh, I, I would say I tended to be more with elementary age kids, just it, it sort of happened naturally. It wasn't um, on purpose. Uh, I think that only being in the schools one day is great, but it's also, it's a little harder to make those connections with the older kids. Um, yeah. The younger kids, are still kind of like, who are you? What are you doing here? But with time, it's easier to kind of work with them and gain trust and, and have them be interested in seeing you. So it was, you know, the little kids were the ones who were like, you're back. <laughs> it's like, yes, every Tuesday I'm back, but I loved that, so. Well, good, yeah, I think, you know, we all know, right, it takes a village to raise a child mm -hmm. is the quote out there. and. I think it is just the more adults we can put in the kids' lives and in a safe space like that school. But we also know for some kids, school isn't always a safe space, right? right. You know, bullying is what I hear um, from the school counselors, and I'm sure you have seen that in the schools. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't, for me, I, I didn't see a lot of it in, in front of your face. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of the, and I think most people have probably heard this before, but social media, the internet makes bullying a lot easier to do behind closed doors. So I think a lot of the bullying tends to be um, unseen. Mm -hmm. Sure. So I know you could tell me story upon story of all of our fabulous Star County students that you've interacted with and our teachers and our counselors, but I know you have one for us today that you wanted to share. Yes. Um, so I'm, I think I'm better at writing my words than speaking my words. So I'm going to read this, my story as I wrote it. Um, and I also just wanted to say very quickly that I think 
a big learning curve for me was I wanted to go into these schools and be like, oh, I'm making a difference. Um, and, but it, I really didn't notice my presence much until almost the end, because I was, like I said, it was just the last semester and it was new to me. It was new to the students, but um, this is just a story where it was towards the end of the year. And I, I, I noticed that sometimes just listening and talking can be huge for stu these students. So, okay. Um, last month I was sitting in on a fifth grade guidance lesson about teamwork and communication, which involved keeping a balloon up in the air. While most of the students were excited and animated, there was one girl sitting with her arms crossed, quietly crying into her sweater. The guidance counselor asked her if she would like to be excused for a few moments to gather herself away from the collective gaze of her classmates. I followed her out into the hallway where I found her red faced and teary eyed. I sat with her and told her to take a few deep breaths with me and within a minute or two, she was calm enough to share what had happened. One of the boys in her class was claiming that he only weighed 30 pounds. And although this particular boy is quite thin, that is roughly the weight of a toddler, not a fifth grader. So she took it upon herself to share this information with him. As it turns out, he didn't take too kindly to being told he was lying. He fired back by saying, sorry, I don't eat as much as you do, followed by a few other crude comments on her weight and body. She said he often made comments like these, I know that sting. I'm sure many of you know that sting. I did my best to explain to her that it sounded like he made outlandish claims like these on purpose to get a rise out of her, that maybe the best thing she could do for herself was to keep her rebuttals in her head, even if she knew she was right, because by speaking them out loud, she was giving him exactly what he wanted. And that felt like the easy part. Next, I asked her if she could tell me one thing that she liked about herself. She looked at me a little sheepishly and slowly shook her head no. This response made my heart sink. I was looking at this bright and capable young girl and she couldn't come up with one thing that she liked about herself, not one thing. So I asked her, would you like me to tell you something that I like about you? And this time she nodded, yes. I love your hair. It's so curly and golden. And you basically have the same glasses as me. So you know, I love those. I saw a smile starting to form as I was talking, and then her eyes lit up as she looked at me and exclaimed, and we both love rings and sweaters. Cut to a giggle sprinkled tangent about cute jewelry and the best place to shop for quality cardigans, Target. And pretty soon, all traces of the distraught and self-conscious girl that I followed into the hallway were gone. When a burst of laughter came from inside the classroom, I asked her if she was ready to go back in and join the fun. She said that she was, but before she left, I asked her to do something for me. Every night that week, before she went to bed, I wanted her to look in the mirror and find one thing she liked about the person looking back. And she promised me that she would try. You know, that, that story is heartbreaking. That story is uplifting. You know, it just touches all of, all of those feels. So Bibbs, thank you for sharing that and you know, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Um, <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> but, you know, we look at that story and we say, okay, this young lady benefited from having Bibbs, our mental health navigator, funded through a different grant in the school. Um, but we know that there's so many other kids who need that one on one mental health support, right? Mm -hmm. um, oh, yes. And, you know, and, and, and on a level that I cannot provide that. Right. Yes, absolutely. So that's why we have the stride program and to, you know, this summer, you're going to be hearing more from us on stride and that's because we're raising money for stride. So um, in order for us to continue providing those one-on-one -on -one, um, counseling hours in our schools um, at no cost or low cost to those families, Cami has told us that we need to raise $103,000. Yes. <laughs> um, and I, 103 to be exact. Yes. <laughs> um, and I know that you too have um, started, you know, making some, um, getting some donations and making some efforts already. 
Um, one of the things though that you're going to be doing is a raffle. So yes. do you want to tell us about that? Yes. So we have um, most recently been going around to local businesses um, asking if they would be interested in donating to um, a raffle. We will be drawing the winner in September um, and we will be selling tickets starting probably next week. Um, they are $5 for one ticket or $20 for five tickets. And um, all of 100% of the proceeds go to uh, uh, mental health services in, in the schools. So you could win one to two baskets of great prizes. So far we've had an awesome um, reaction from the community and the businesses that we've asked. And we've already received a handful of really generous donations from them. Um, and we're still waiting on a few more people have like I said, been very interested, but it's also July in Door County. So they're like, we'll get back to you. <laughs> um, so yeah. there will be some great prizes, one or two baskets that you could win just featuring uh, Door County local businesses. Wonderful. Well, thank you to those businesses. And um, mm -hmm. so Bib said starting next week. So it is the beginning of July when we're recording this video. Yes. Um, so depending on when you watch this video, um, if it's mid July or later, raffle tickets will be on sale. Um, and Bibbs and her co worker, Cammie, will be around the county selling those. But if you're interested in purchasing them, you can call the United Way office at 920. 746-9645 and to say you're interested in buying some of those raffle tickets and we'll get you connected and figure out how we're going to get those to you and all of that fun stuff. Um, and if you're not a raffle person and you just want to make a cash donation, um, people can do that through the United Way website. So they can go to unitedwaydc.com um, there's a donate button in the upper right hand corner. People can click on that and either they'll just see area of greatest need or they can pull down and they'll see stride. Um, the best would be if you did the pull down and found stride, but we all know lots of steps. <laughs> yes. uh, so if you just go to the area of greatest need by accident because you forgot the pull down and you're all <laughs> the way through entering your credit card information and you go, Amy said something about a pull down, right? There's a place, there's a memo, little place, a note place, and you can just write stride in there. Um, and then we'll make sure on our back end of things that that money goes directly to stride. So it costs $65 mm -hmm. um, per hour for one of those mental health one-on-one -on -one sessions. So we're looking to provide more sessions than last year. This past school year, we served 65. Five. 65. Yes. I'm like, Cammie, just told me. How come I can't remember? <laughs> she's told she's told me a, a lot. So that's why I know. <laughs> we serve 65 students um, through the Stride program with that one-on-one -on -one counseling. So mm -hmm. really hoping that Bibbs' story has touched you um, and that you think of that little girl. Well, not little, that, you know, preteen, fifth mm -hmm. grade girl. Um, cause I think like Bib said, we've all felt that sting, right? We, we all know what it feels like when someone isn't nice to us. And right. if she had anxiety or depression on top of that, definitely would have been a candidate for our one-on-one -on -one counseling program. Mm -hmm. So Bibs, anything else you want to say to folks today? I don't think so. Just thank you for listening and taking the time to hear our story and yeah. So thank you everyone. Yes, for sticking with us. And again, we really hope that you'll make a donation to support Stride or buy those raffle tickets. So thank you everyone. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye Bibs. Thanks so much. Bye for Amy. Me. Thank you. Bye-bye.